Are you curious about the current state of the spot Bitcoin ETF market? Despite recent declining net flows, Ki Young Ju, CEO of CryptoQuant, has predicted a possible resurgence that they are an affected Si Young market in the market. And in his recent post on X, he stated that spot Bitcoin ETF net flows could increase even as the BTC price decline continues. Historical data shows that demand for Bitcoin ETFs typically kicks in when the cryptocurrency traces to certain support levels. Currently, BTC ETFs have recorded negative flows for the last million four trading sessions, with significant levels of Grayscale's GBTC outflows and record low inflows for other ETFs, such as BlackRock's iBit and Fidelity's FBT. A young Jew notes that new BTC whales, particularly ETF buyers, have an on-chain cost basis of around $56,000. This indicates that significant Bitcoin holders, particularly ETF investors, typically acquire Bitcoin at an average price of $56,000. According to data from Crypto Moon Markets Pro, Bitcoin's price is fluctuated between $62,000 to $68,000 over the past week. However, Young Yu suggests that a decline is plausible given that corrections typically see a maximum drop of 30%. With BTC's recent peak at $73,750, the analysts forecast that the asset's price could drop as low as $51,000. Over the past 48 hours, BTC's price dropped 13% from its new all-time high of $73,835 to briefly trade near $60,000. The correction was caused by overheated market conditions facing in what analysts have christened a pre-having retrace ahead of the Bitcoin halving event that is roughly 30 days away. So it a report by CryptoQuant shows that the Bitcoin bull cycle is not over given the relatively low level of investment flows from new investors and price valuation metrics still involve and level seen in past market and where it is, it's closely. It's not taking it more than it is expected and what that means is not by price again there are some essential work where it is able to do, is important to do your own research and consider the risks involved. And uh, as I was five, I find it three days again. So why did the Bitcoin cross the road? Let's take a look at that. Like doing really want and, uh, and then you know you can put them in. Um, with that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, uh, stay informed and always remember to invest wisely.